I am here with Mark Bird, missionary for Revive Ohio, and we are counting down the days until Allen County is embarked with people who every day, every moment, their heart cry is to reach that message of Jesus Christ out to out to the people. They don't have to come to them. We are going to go to the people. Mark, tell me about the excitement that is brewing with this coming to Allen County. Well, it really is growing. Uh, every day we meet with people and every day the word's getting spread and every day people are talking like we're, we're getting invited to come and speak before uh, mayor and uh, city council and uh, chamber of commerce and business people and pastors and leaders and just church people everywhere. And there's just a real hunger in a sense, just like you described, Jennifer, there's just a real hunger for a move of God, a fresh move of God into Allen County. And as it sits right now, we're at about 46 or 47 churches that are already said, yes, we want to get involved in this. And I'm not sure if anybody has ever seen 47 churches actually come together uh, for anything in, in Allen County before, but we're super excited about it. This is phenomenal, and hopefully you have heard about Revive Ohio. We've been talking about it. Perhaps your church is involved with it, um, but if not, what you may not realize is this didn't just start yesterday. This has been in the planning and the prayer process, the fasting process. We're in that right now, but it's been going on for several months. Mark, just describe what Revive Ohio is. Well, Revive Ohio is really just that it's it's bringing the churches together because for so many years we've just worked separately and, and, and we've done a good job working in our little individual church buildings. But for the people of Allen County that are struggling, the people that are just hurting, the people that are out there and the people that will not come to church for whatever reason that may be, we have to go get them. And the church really needs to unite. We need to, to show that we can come together and we can be one. We can be the body of Christ and we can go out and love on those that are hurting and to actually help them. So part of what we're doing, as you described, Jennifer, is we need people to start talking about it, start getting on board and start letting everybody know that God wants us to be a part of the revival that he's waited for for a long time. He's really waited for the church to do this, right? We all say we're praying and we're waiting on revival. Lord, we're asking you for revival, but really the Lord's waiting on us. And it's just such a time like this. And like you said, we've been preparing for this for months because that's what we want to do. Like we didn't set a date for this for a long, long time because we wanted to get an understanding of what the Lord wanted to do. And we gathered the pastors and the leaders and we needed to pray and we really needed to hear from God, Lord, when do you want this to happen? And so we just set our face to pray and we've come together. Many There's many prayer pods and locations going on throughout Allen County in different towns and so forth, not just Lima. And it's really beautiful to watch the body of Christ come together to pray and seek God for this. So September 10th through the 16th is the date that was decided upon. That is coming up very soon. What is going to be happening during that week-long time period? Yeah, that's a great question. So again, the traditional model of what a revival has always been, of course, we either throw up a tent or we have some meetings in a church building. This is somewhat different in that we're asking the church to come together and people say, yeah, I'm just not sure I can go out on the streets and evangelize that. That's really not my calling, but there's so many ways you can get involved in this. Like you can come and join our prayer team. You can help us serve meals. You can help us in the kids, revive kids, revive teens we've got we need housing we're gonna have hundreds literally of volunteers and missionaries come from all over the United States come flooding into Allen County to help you revive your city right and revive your county so we need help putting them up we need help with prayer people we need we have all kinds of needs so I would encourage you to reach out to your pastor like you said Jennifer and just ask are we involved in this and I would just involve, now we start prayer at seven in the morning and I would say, come out for prayer. We break bread together as a, as a body of Christ three times. We eat breakfast together. We have lunch together at different churches throughout the week. And then we have dinner together as well. Very important for the body of Christ to come together. We do go out in the mornings and we pray for all churches. We go in the afternoon and we pray for people that we run into, we encounter into schools, into businesses, wherever they're opening up their door and they just want a blessing. 
We have many businesses call and say, would you come and share and just pray over my employees? We would love to do that, right? So that's part of what we do. We just want to be a blessing to the community. We want to be a blessing to the city. And you know, it's interesting. Uh, God said in Proverbs 11, 11, by the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but it's overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. And so what we have to do is decide as a church, as a body of Christ, we want to be the voice of Allen County again. The church needs to take her place and to be a part and to just rise up and come together and say we can unite in Christ. So that's really the central message of what we're trying to bring to Allen County. And don't forget every single day we're bringing to you verses from the Revive Ohio 40 days of fasting and prayer as we lead up to this event which just starts September 10th. There's a 6 p.m. kickoff service at Lima Baptist Temple and then there are services like Mark said breakfast in the morning prayer in the morning and things going on all throughout the week. We're showing you the schedule on the on the screen. You can find that information on the Facebook page. There's a Revive Ohio Allen County Facebook page. Um, you can also call TV 44. You can call Lima Baptist Temple. And is there anywhere else that they can contact to uh, get involved or find out more information? Yeah, WTGN Radio has been working with us as well, 97.7. We also have an actual website, uh, reviveoh.com. And so we've got many videos on there where you can see we've been in five counties already in Ohio. You can see uh, videos from every single day where we're just out loving on the people, right? And that's what we're saying. We're just inviting people to come to the Marriage Supper of the Lamb. And it's a lot of fun, I'm telling you, to watch God move. The stories that come out of it are incredible. They're wonderful to see what God is doing. And when an individual, individual just simply says yes and steps out like you did, Mark, you said yes, you stepped out, you walked away from things you were doing before because you sensed God leading you in a direction, and now God is doing incredible things. Now, Allen County isn't the only area. Like Mark said, five other counties have already experienced this and have amazing stories and testimonies to tell. And perhaps you're not in Allen County and you're thinking, that needs to come to my county. Well, you can go to that website, reviveoh.com, right, yes. and uh, you can find out more information and find out how it's going to be. So as we are in those final days, how would you encourage people to be praying as we prepare for this to happen? Yeah, I would pray. And, and if you're honest, if you ask God, Lord, do you want me to be involved in this? And then when he says yes, I want you to say, how specifically would you like me to be involved? One other thing I like to add is that another component that makes us different from every other revival that we've ever had is the discipleship component. Because Jesus didn't say to go and make converts. He said, go and make disciples. So we have a complete discipleship program that goes along. So when we actually encounter people and they come to know the Lord, we have a full, complete discipleship program that allows people from every church to just disciple and walk along new converts and help each other grow in our faith. And that's the really lasting thing that we've seen. And as we mentioned, we've been in five other counties already, and that's what we're seeing. Here we are a year later, and we're still seeing discipleship relationships still thrive and grow and people are growing in Christ and I believe that's what's going to make a difference in Allen County is we're going to make disciples for Christ and that's what's going to help change. What's Amen. Amen. Disciples for Christ making a difference in Allen County. It can happen. God can do incredible things. September 10th through the 16th, Revive Ohio right here in Lima and the whole county, Allen County. <laughs>